Hi, today I want to uh, share a few things with you, um, go over something we're going to be doing this month, or we're already doing this month in September, and um, just share some things with you. First of all, I should have done this already, but I haven't had a chance to make a video about it, so I'm going to put it in this video, and I'm going to do it first because it's very important. <laughs> anyway, a little while back, like a few weeks ago, I was in two family homesteads live stream whenever they were interviewing or well TCK, TCK Maria was she was in there um, she was their guest that's the easiest way to say it she was their guest and they have this thing where that they will uh, have questions for their viewers and whoever answers correctly first they will send a two dollar bill to so I won and I received this. So I got two dollars. <laughs> and also this cute picture <laughs> of Sherry under her living blanket. He's kind of big. <laughs> Don't know if I can handle that because I live in a hot climate. But anyway, yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys. And be sure to go to their live streams and watch because one, you're supporting an awesome YouTube channel. Two, you can win $2. But anyway, yeah. But you gotta know who they're interviewing and you gotta know a lot about who they're interviewing. So yeah, that was awesome. Another thing I was gonna talk about is uh, a little bit back, back I had um, done a video on our zones and things. And how that we were trying to implement fly lady things into our lives. But we were changing it up a little bit for ourselves. And I believe I had talked about this book. Sync Reflections. I think I had. Um, I'm not done reading it yet. Because I'm trying to just absorb every little bit of wisdom in this book. Um, this is awesome. It's called Sync Reflections by Marla Silly, the fly lady. The fly lady actually has a um youtube channel i'll link that below i'll link two families too and i also link um below another lady named fly lady well it's fly lady cat she's really awesome i really like her um she gives you like daily videos of what you're supposed to be doing on that day she's just awesome um so yeah this book if you don't have it even if you don't i mean even if your house is spotless and you don't have any problems, you still, the encouragement is just awesome in here. So, yeah, get the book. Um, that is the second thing I want to talk about. The third thing I want to talk about is um, Jordan Page from Fun Cheap or Free, and I will link her YouTube channel and her website down below. She is doing a shelf timber challenge. Okay, and what it is, from what I've read on her blog and everything I've gathered and I've watched her video and everything, um, during the month of September, you were challenged to cook from your pantry, freezer, refrigerator. If you don't have a freezer, then your pantry and refrigerator. And Well, if you don't have like a standalone freezer or deep freeze your refrigerator and your freezer that's attached to it anyway you're challenged to cook from those things and spend no more than fifty dollars but try not to get over twenty five dollars a week on your groceries we're gonna do this i believe that i know we can do this because we kind of already implement some of the things like shopping your pantry and freezer before you shop the stores and things like that. Um, but I have noticed that if I see a sale, I don't care if we have plenty or not, a lot of times I'll get it. And I have caused myself to not have space for things because of that sometimes and, and have you know, shelf-stable foods in weird places. <laughs> and I know that some people store their foods in weird places, like under their bed and stuff like that, which I am not opposed to because if you can get it on sale, 
and you can keep it from getting gross. Store where you gotta store it. But yeah, I am uh, going to be doing the shelf timber challenge. I heard about it first on Farmer Meemaw's channel. I'll link her too. Hopefully I can remember all these things. I'll remember them. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I think that it's going to be an awesome thing to do. And if you can do it, like, be creative with your meals. And shop from your pantry and freezer and refrigerator. So that things don't go to waste. And you're not spending more money than you need to. And that way later on, whenever you do find an awesome sale, you can, like, load up more than what you could normally. But it's a good way to save money. This month is my son's birthday. And we are going to be spending some more money on that, you know. Than, I mean, he, he's got, we're going to get him gifts, of course. Uh, so, yeah, it's a good month. Plus, we have our tags due this month. So, <laughs> it's a good idea to crunch the numbers on the grocery budget if you can. Because as of now, what we spend each month, I mean, yeah, well, each month, we don't have to spend as much as we do. So, we're going to do the Shelf Timber Challenge, and I challenge all of you to do it, too. And if you're going to do it, uh, you know, let me know if you're going to join me with it. I will leave the information for Jordan Page down below so that it will you will be able to go find out everything I found out. Um, otherwise, I don't really have a lot to talk about. We did get rabbits, and I know that I haven't told anybody yet that on YouTube except a few people um, we got rabbits to go along with our quail and chickens they're very happy I don't know what breeds we have other than a lop eared one of them is because we bought it from an animal auction and we didn't have much information on them that's okay though because we didn't get them for I mean we got them let's just face it we got them for their poo poo <laughs> because it's a great fertilizer and uh, you know we got them for that and the fact that, you know, rabbits are cute and they're awesome. And if we decide to breed them, well, I can find out what kind they, what breed they are. All I've got to do is go back and ask the people that I bought them from. I just haven't done that yet. So, yeah. Uh, I think that's all that I had to talk about. Oh, and when I'm doing the Shelf Timbers Challenge, I'm going to try to at least have a picture of the meal that we cooked each day um I cannot do that for September 2nd because I didn't think about it and today is September 3rd I didn't think about it and um we ate before I took a picture but I'll tell you what it was it was delicious that's what it was and actually I didn't cook any of it our son cooked us an entire meal. That was awesome. He wanted to grill, so we were like, go for it, boy. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, Noah cooked our meal for us last night. So, that was awesome, too. Um, now I'm just rambling, and I've got things to do outside. Because, yeah, animals and yard. <laughs> so, I'm going to go for now. And I will try to have a video every week. Of pictures of what we ate and if I don't have pictures I'll just tell you what we ate and I'm gonna have the menu and I'll tell you how much we spent each week so far all we've bought was milk hopefully that's all we'll have to buy this week and it'll be way less than the $25 <laughs> so yeah um I may on the next video come back and tell you guys that different ways that I have um come up with not spending so much maybe creating like things I should be doing anyway like baking my own bread and stuff anyway I'm rambling again thank you for watching I will see you guys next time if you like this video give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell so you're going to be notified every time I upload a video share this video if you'd like let me know if you're going to do the shelf timber challenge in the comments below or if anything else you want to say in the comments below let me know and remember don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet <laughs>